this display. Here's our Scott Broom on what's behind that hanging effigy and what might happen next. I believe that the lynching and effigy is an act of racial terrorism. Patty Morton took these pictures on her way to vacation in Deep Creek Lake last weekend and put them on Facebook. We were disgusted. Um, we were shaken and um, thought we would try to do something about it. The photos and others like them in the Cumberland Times News and on social media have resulted in a new pressure campaign to do something about what is an old issue in Garrett County. Some version of this display has been on the property on Chestnut Ridge Road near Grantsville since 2013, according to local officials who have denounced the display, but who say the First Amendment right to free speech on private property has prevented them from taking action, even under Maryland's hate crime laws. The effigy is displayed by a homeowner who WUSA 9 will not name because he has not been charged with a crime and because his children are receiving threats, according to the man's ex-wife. The ex says it all started when she moved out and her husband put up a mock hanging that was an expression of hate towards her. She said racism was not the original intent, but frustrated county leaders say it's gone on now off and on for seven years. Black lives matter! Black lives matter. And times have changed. I think that's a really bold action of hate. Maria Ravelli lives outside Boston and is conducting a viral social media campaign to pressure the community to protest. She's also called Maryland State Police. If we want to take race off the picture, out of the picture, just because it, he's not specifically saying again, like this is blackface or this is whatever, um, it's it's a, it's an act of violence. It's a picture of violence. The chairman of Garrett County's commission, who has denounced the effigy, wants it all to end. Paul Edwards spoke by phone. We're very clear, I think, of what the perception of many uh, is, uh, is not helping uh, attract visitors and to have people come here and have a positive uh, initial image of what Garrett County is, is about. As of three this afternoon, the effigy is still up. Western Maryland Congressman David Trone has called it abhorrent and racist, and he's promising to support local authorities as they try again to convince the homeowner to take it down. In Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.